Double honors to Apostle GMS and honors to you brothers that do the work in truth, war, sincerity. Saw this one um, when I was prepping for another video. Just wanted to go into it real quick. This is uh, Jeremiah 39 15. It says, Now the word of Yahweh came unto Jeremiah whilst he was shut up in the court of the prison, saying, So Jeremiah's, you know, in the court of the prison. Right, he's in jail and that says go and speak to Ebed Melech from the, the Ethiopian saying thus saith Yahweh of hosts the God of Israel behold I will bring my words upon this city for evil and not for good and they shall be accomplished in the day before thee but I will deliver thee in that day saith Yahweh and thou shalt not give, be given into the hand of men of whom thou art afraid yeah and this is the point I wanted to bring out so far I will surely deliver thee and thou shalt not fall by the sword, but thy life shall be for a prey unto thee, because thou hast trusted me, saith Yahweh. And I wanted to get into that real quick, because, uh, what am I saying? If if you uh, uh, trust in the Lord, the Lord will will, will, uh, will deliver thee. You know, that's what it says here. It says, for I will surely deliver thee, because thou hast put thy trust in me, saith Yahweh. Right? So we're, we're going to come into some times where, you know, we ain't going to know what to do. You know, apart from just walking the spirit, you know, it's just the times that we're coming into, right? Some of us will be cast into prison. The Lord said, surely I will deliver thee, right? And in fact, it's a good time to bring this one out again, because it means this is a recurring one of late, you know, at least here at the camp. Uh, in London, it says Sirach 2 and 10, it says, Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Right, or who did he ever despise that called upon him? Right, so it says, Look at the generations of old, right, look, look at all of the prophets, all of the men of the Lord that were delivered, uh, you know, when because they had faith and believed in the Lord. Right, look at the, uh, the the story of how we, we escaped Egypt. Right, scriptures say um, in Romans four fifteen, all things were written for our learning. Read all of that, and ask yourself: Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? The answer is no. Right, no, and uh, with this is uh, Psalm thirty four twenty two says: The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Right, so the Lord will take care of you. Right, and if you if you trust in the Lord, then you're gonna be alright, man. You know, if you if you're lots to be of the elect, then you you know you're gonna be alright. Right, and you know something that was uh, we mentioned in the video we did yesterday is man, you 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 can't let doubt you know o overcome you. You can't let doubt make you think, oh, maybe I'm not of the elect. You know, as long as you're doing, you know, what, what you got to do in this truth, then hey, there's a good chance you'll be elect, man. So just keep doing what you got to do. Right, so that, Lord, will you are edified. Shalom.